Uh, right. You somehow managed to look so hot in office wear, so why not I get you a smashing office dress? Tell me your body size, and I'll pick the perfect dress for you. Make sure to give your bust, waist, and hip measurements. I want to get it right the first time. She th a dress would be perfect with a tighter and firmer bust pair with those long legs. You would look fabulous. Some might say it's distracting, but if you have assets, you have to show it. Oh, he is fucking perv. Nah, I, you can go do one. Right, uh, let's see. Dice roll insurance. Ransom, when your life is worth money. Travelling has its perks. In fact, it is one of the best ways to make friends, experience global life, and bring back memorable videos and photos. Nothing tops that except going to space. Crossing borders has its charms, which includes whether you realise or not subjecting yourself to individual countries and their legal or cultural quirks, crime being one of them. Among some of the more harrowing experiences is kidnapping for ransom. While armed robbery is not something to shrug off, the ordeal normally lasts no more than robbers willing to hang around for undue attention or the police arrives. Kidnapping, however, is in the interest of the criminal to last as long as possible. Take out greater financial demands upon the family whose member is now in the hands of rough, uncultured men across the ocean. Times like this, reporters, police and even politicians are the limits and moving the minds of the kidnappers. What they want is money, and while governments are all about not giving into terrorists, the families have more practical worries. It matters to worry, you know, such as the life of their loved ones. This is where insurance will come in. Kate and R insurance, or kidnap and ransom insurance, are backed by most insurance companies, which become a valuable tool in the hands of families negotiating with the kidnappers. Normally, these premiums are rather high and meant for important members of companies or governments, but if you think you're travelling into dangerous areas, and are often an asset yourself, do take a look at the packages these companies offer. Remember, money can always be earned back, but lives are a one-way ticket. How about you just don't go to a high-risk place? 99 plus? Oh. Oh shit, this went back further. He's been calling me for a few days, not been responding. Should I come over? I don't know. I keep going back and forth between being angry at him and feeling guilty about being so upset. Uh, Toby's the only lover I need. Oh, don't. No, that's your fucking cat. The first woman desperate enough to upright marry their cat. Time to enter the fringes of society, Ashley. Time to be cat wife. Do you, Anna, take Tobias the cat as your lawfully wedded husband? To have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, until death do us part. Yes, I do! Sounds terrible. Leave my shit jokes alone. Okay, so I'm gonna call you later, okay? Yeah, okay. How are you feeling, pretty girl? Bag of rocks. Bag of those bricks made out of poop they dry out. Developing desert communities. They use them to build amazing houses with decent insulation and stabilize small rural economy. And the non profit takes a glammy picture of the whoever people and the CEO, and you feel weird because you're like, is this picture boasting about helping people or is it promoting the CEO and their self interest somehow? And in the background of the pic, there are the <laughs> unused extra poop bricks which get rained on turning to a former but lesser poop form and eventually dry out in the sun, leaving nothing but a stain, and I am that stain. I've been reading a lot. Call me if you need to, okay? Ed or handsome, who me? Are you doing about the same? Uh, let's hang out tomorrow. I don't know, I'm pretty content in my angry, lonesome hole. Got a good book for them going, you know. How the fuck do you pronounce that? Is way ahead of his time. Uh, who am I going to trust now when I turn on the TV? Why don't you hang out with me tomorrow? Hang out with me. I'm hotter than your culture, uh, cultural commentary. Eh. Be my date. It'll be a good date. We'll get pretty and we'll go into town. Come on. Are you alright? What's gone into you? Hello? Hey, um. God. I just read my text. I'm so, so sorry. 
can you do me a favor and just ignore all of it? <laughs> I had a wee bit too much to drink last night and I have no idea what I was saying. I'll make it up to you, okay? I'm going back to sleep, so I'll catch you soon, all right? Okay. Uh, wait, uh, let's see, how far back have we gone? Hey, since it was Kat's birthday yesterday, when's your birthday again? I can close the next client, you're in for a treat. Keep calling it the cat, it has a name you know. You're avoiding question, I know the month. Get three guesses, and if you screw all of them up, you'd let me drive your car. No. Yes, I could just ask Ashley. No cheating, texting her. No, I win. Get you for this. You'll regret this day. Count your friends and fork your pillows. You will need every comfort in the years ahead. Yes, I do not pity you at all. Hey, are you boring? What do you mean? We were out last night. It was like everyone was 20 something. I had some kind of futuristic job. The founder of a startup, game programmer, neuroscience researcher. You work at a surveillance company. I know, know what I mean. Like, we just mainly go out chill. Chill plus Toby. You're a salesman and I work stupid big data sh uh, bullshit. Are we basic? Are we normal core? White preds? I think you need a fucking dictionary. I'm a salesman. There's no question there. Dodging the question. 75% chance that at any given time we are the most boring couple in the room. But who cares? Are you bored of me? What? Fuck no. Where'd that come from? It's been bothering me. Last night you didn't really want to dance. I know you don't like dancing like I do anyway. But like, you seemed kind of upset about it. Haha, <laughs> no. I was just kind of tired. Yeah? Yes. Can we hang out again tonight? I think maybe work stuff is getting to me. Can't. Why? Work. Oh, I guess maybe we'll hang out with Ashley. Okay. Oh, that's not a good K. You tell me, right? Tell what? If you're hiding something. I told you your present only comes on your birthday. It's not that. You are acting weird. You always say I'm a weirdo. Weirder than unusual. As long as your Starbucks order isn't counted by the paragraph, I think you're good. Yeah. An example would help. I don't know, just a gut feeling. Overthinking things. Promise me? Promise me that everything is fine. What's going into you? Just do it, please. <laughs> okay, I promise. Everything is fine. All of you. Hey, you're mad. I can tell. You don't just storm out the house without saying anything. Tell me. Tell what? I want you to tell me why do you think I'm mad. Tell what? Right, we are looking for... Oh, who the hell is Yolanda? Is that, that wasn't me. You looked through my phone? I knew something was up. You could have fucking told me. How long were you going to wait? Fuck, I made a mistake. I can explain. Please do. She was a client I need for last month's target. But a few times after work, she's persistent. I made a mistake. I own that. But everything after that was not me. Bullshit. Anna. <laughs> you cheated on me and almost got her pregnant. This is unreal. I told you I'm not allowed to just get rid of clients. You're not allowed to fuck clients. She was the last clothes I needed. I know it's hard to believe. I don't fucking care. Anna. Leave me the fuck alone, Greg. Anna, let me fix this. Oh, great, you can go fuck yourself. I know what you did, Greg. 
Rejection, it sucks. From the Office of Admissions to the University of Cunningham, we have received your application to the School of Veterinary Science. We regret to inform you that you have not been shortlisted. Blah, blah, blah. We thank you. Blah, blah, blah. They didn't even say why. And they have to take three months for this? <laughs> Ugh, this is not helping. Oh, she made a post. Ooh, that went weird. Uh, today's gonna be an interesting day. I can feel it. I'm gonna unfriend them all. Unfriend them? What the fuck? Unlike them. Haven't seen you for a while. Where have you been? Yeah, where have you been? Just you to miss gym. I'm fine. Just got a couple of work. That's all. I'm gonna take a short break. Don't worry about me. I overgot. <gasps> hold on, hold on. What? I'm trying to see if there's anything. No matches. Zero matches. I guess not then. Oh fuck, there's one. one. Okay, Taylor. Hey stranger, anything? Anna put you something on Jabber. Looks like she's chilling at home. Guess she's alright. Um something's off. You know? Maybe you're overthinking it. Maybe she just wanted. Oh god, really? Be left alone. Oh, I'm leaving you on red. Uh, Titanic. What? <laughs> it's my icebreaker. Haha, <laughs> that's cute. People died though. Yeah, I need to work on that. So, animal person, eh? Dog? Cat. Only one, I hope. Uh, one's a handful already. Oh, he's knocking on the door. <laughs> You've already matched everyone in your area. Re yeah, regardless of hobby. Uh, I'm not the crazy cat lady age yet. Your profile says you serenade upon request. Yep. You sing? Occasionally. Prove it. Oh, no. No. I got my eyes on you. You're everything that I see. I want your heart, love, and emotion. I How do I stop the video? You. Yeah, yeah, okay. Oh wow, that's not bad. So it is true that sugar gives better acoustics. Yeah, we have to store the soaps and shampoos if I sing there. Interesting, why is that? Otherwise it would be a soap opera. Oh no. Taylor, t oh. <laughs> you know what's really bad? Without singing, I would be the one <laughs> who, who'd probably be pulling out the, the shit, the shit um, jokes. Uh. Okay. You got me on that one. Original song playing over it. I'm just miming it would be indistinguishable from 98% of all content on TikTok. Yeah. Uh, do I get something in return? Your number maybe? I'll think about it. So theory music, outdoors, pets, animals, gaming. All right. I'm gonna say you should make drugs right now. Sorry, I'm all ears, what's up? So what happened exactly? Did Greg check her house or something? What about the po uh, the post? I heard a strange noise, but no Anna. What? Explain.
Sorry, I'm at work. Wait, which one was it? Um. The one in these. Anna. I don't know. Hey. Um. No. So we do have it somewhere, and it's a sound. Do you, Anna, take? You're not allowed. So I walked up to her. Sorry, last one. Oh, that's the one. Did Greg send uh, this to you? This is odd. I never would have called her phone by now if she was okay. And somehow she makes a post exactly the same time as when Greg is checking in on her. Doesn't it sound a bit strange to you? <laughs> Occam's razor? Oh, I can't remember what it is. I've heard of the name. Shit. Is it Tom? Similar's answer is most often correct. Right. So let's see hypothetically. There's a possibility that Greg somehow did something bad to Anna. He's hiding it from you. Oh, it's always a simple thing. <laughs> See, this is why I do shit at games. Because I don't go for the simplest answer. I go for the most... Your hoof beats, you think, horse, not zebra. <laughs> I mean, uh, depending on where you are, though, that could change. Where you are in the world. <laughs> if there's some zebras nearby. <clears throat> Think of ponies. Uh, he oh, hiding it from you. Just a random thought. What if Anna is deliberately trying to get away from Greg? Maybe he bombarded her with calls and messages to the point where she just went screw it and chucked the phone away you don't diagnose a cold stage for cancer but why is it that when people end up looking up shit they end up going with you know some of the worst solutions <sighs> Um, okay, why would he do that? I don't know, but think about it. Kind of person Greg is. Because when he has to list all the possible causes, because I haven't learned uh, taking into account all variables. Or it can have just about any symptoms you can think of. But why don't they go for the simplest one then? Um, da -da -da. Yeah, he's all of them. Uh, he got blocked from her apartment. Aha. Uh -huh. If they're indeed lovebirds, and most he won't have the keys. Getting blocked is a strong word. Maybe she is keeping him away. Wait, really? They do? They put it first? People scroll down, see cancer and panic? The phone said it was almost delayed. And you checked her laptop. This is troubling. Is trying to obstruct justice? 
I think he's hiding something big in the phone. Otherwise, why would he want to delete the phone's data? Uh, most common neglecting thing is that they have a bunch of symptoms for a textbook case of disease, but the website neglects to say 95% of cases. It takes a decade to develop and theirs is three days. Um, I don't think he did it. Said every guilty person ever. And also some innocent ones. I actually don't know if he was. <laughs> he was getting a dick. That's what we've got. Anna's a pretty sweet gal. Why would you date someone like him? Being verbally abusive is not uh, far from being physical. All I'm saying is I think there is more to Greg uh, that he's leading on. Again, hypothetical. What else he told you? She needs to have mild chest pain. Uh, I think they're about to go into a cardiac arrest any minute. But the, that's the whole thing where they're like, if you have it, you, you, you're supposed to flag it up though, aren't you? Generally. You'll get some things over here. If you're trying to, okay, so during the pandemic, I'd seen forms for filling in online. Like if you're symptoms and stuff. And some of them, even though you'd put it down as not being serious, they're like, you need to go to the emergency room. So you have to downplay your symptoms to get a fucking appointment. Even though the symptoms weren't anything bad anyway. Um, do, 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 I met someone on Spark. Mm. Right. There's a possibility that a hot girl like Anna will get matched more than once. Could be you. If I met her, our job would be done. Uh, you lost me there? I won't be talking to you right now. Don't you believe me? No, I'm going to hold off from believing anyone at the moment. Well, you're not making this easy. It's way easier to prove that you met someone than you haven't met someone. You can trust me. Scout's honour. I think before we move on, you need to confront him. Call him out. So new data just got restored. Like a backup? Great, he's hiding something. I can feel it. But he's the one who kept us with a backup, did he not? If he did something to Anna, we need to know what it is. Right. Remember to get your facts straight and ask him about his actions and behaviour. Maybe he will slip up and tell you something we don't know. Uh, strain, muscle, heartburn, panic. Uh, psychosomatic, which are all plausible and within Occam's razor. Yeah, but if you... Okay, so... Uh, a doctor surgery I go to. During a the pandemic, they were doing most of the stuff online. So you would have to. If you weren't going to speak to them, um, it was like an online form to fill in. And as soon as you hit certain points, if you ticked certain things, it was like, go to the emergency room, go to the hospital, kind of deal. Even though it wasn't. If that's what you were confused about. So the whole thing with chest pain is like, if you'd put that down and you were having it, they would have told you not to go to them. can <laughs> go to the fucking hospital. So they were going for the worst case scenario. They, were, they, they wouldn't be like, oh, we'll just wait. Not a chance they would do that, ideally. Or at least from what I'd seen. Uh, red flags like in lower right abdominal pain. Yeah, but then also anything that goes into that territory, even if it isn't that, they're like, it's a red flag, it goes there. So you get this whole thing where it's not the simplest thing. It can never be the simplest thing because they've got their, their 
on high alert for other issues. But I guess that's the fault with their, their website and the way they go through the report and things. Okay. Another random thought. What if Greg killed Anna? It could be you, Taylor, though. Well, maybe kill is a strong word. But what if he hurt her or something and tried to cover it up? And all you hear from him is a lie. Huh. Uh, and I left him because he cheated. Caught red handed. Or red fingered because it's in text. <laughs> I have to be paranoid. You can imagine it was on record that they recommended sleep on it for a while and the guy had 150 grams of ground up apple seeds for an internet challenge. No, but this is the whole thing. It can It can never just be the simplest thing. Because of stuff like that. You can't just go with the simplest thing. Oh shit! Hello, I'm looking for Anna. I believe this is her number. Hello? Uh, I think this is the answering machine. I'll just leave a message first. This is Detective Marillo from the police department. We received a report from one of your neighbors. She mentioned that there was a suspicious looking guy entering and exiting your residence. Yeah. Can you That's confirm if this is true? Call us if you wish to report a burglary. Thank you and good day. Ooh, okay. Uh, this is weird if I typed out. It was unlucky girl. Rolanda. Why are we telling them about random people they don't know? Uh, you got the position. Uh, that sounds like motive to me. It's a breakup fight. Things got a little violent. Who knows? You should call her and ask if she knows anything about Greg. Like a second opinion. Get it straight from the source. Uh, make an evaluation. That you go like, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm just trying to say that with the whole thing with... What was it? The simplest... Oh fuck, I don't know what it was. Where was it? It's always the simplest thing. Never, never gets taken into account. Ever. In certain issues. Mm. Okay, straight from the source. It's scandalous? Uh, I mean, uh, we'll try. Great idea. That's the spirit. The go get her tiger. Wait, what are we doing with Yolanda? Remember, we are here for Anna. This is necessary. Find Yolanda, find the truth. What am I doing? Oh, dude. Unless you feel like you're actively dying, you probably aren't. I mean, I've had some fuckers here cold. <laughs> Wait, what am I on? Oh, shit. Nah. 